Hey, it's Ted here again. I'm working on the Social X drive still, and I'm gonna go over today the procedure for uh, disassembling the shift actuator to change the seal inside. There's a little lock pin in here, and then there's the shift actuator pin that has to be removed. So I'm gonna go through the procedure on disassembling this and then putting it back together with a special tool. So let's get started. So this is an Ocean X version. I'm doing a reseal on it and I want to change the seal on the shift actuator. So, so the first thing we want to do is pull this roll pin out. So just take a pair of wire cutters, diagonal cutters and squeeze on a little bit, get it started, pick it up, just keep picking it up. You're going to need a new roll pin by the way. And that's out of the way. All right, so now that that's out of the way, this pin can be really troublesome to get out, and it's just to clamp it in a vise and try to tap this out. I'm trying to get it as straight as possible. So what I do... That thing doesn't want to move. No, it's coming now. Just really got to hold it in there straight and flush to the vise. It'll be out in a second. There it is. Okay, and there's the pin. And as you can see, that pin has a groove in it. So there's the pin and the groove. And the little spring clip goes through that pin and getting those out is always troublesome. So, <clears throat> you can get them out after a while, but it just the pin is no good. You need a pin. Once that comes out, you can take this out, check that shaft for cleanliness, clean it up, and then I'm going to change the seal. It's pretty hard and brittle, so. All right, so we're going to take the shift housing. I've already got the pins out of it. I've got the body out, and I'm going to clamp this in a, in a vise, soft jaw vise. And I'm going to take a screwdriver and a special tool to get underneath the seal and then just pop that seal out. There we go. I'll clean that up and then we're going to use a special tool which is a special tool that also is not going to be found in your standard DPS or SX toolkit. This tool originally was made for DPH, which is the diesel drive used behind D4, D6. So this special tool is to reinstall this seal both in a DPH and in a DPS uh, A or B or up version engine with the shift actuator. The other thing I wanted to show you right here was this is an Ocean X series drive, so it's a little bit newer than an, an original DPSA, first generation. So when you look at the outline of this, there's a different part number, 2125640. And then the original, this is a DPSA version, original. This has the part number, which is totally different, of 3889828. And this one looks very different because the cutout is totally different. So this shape is very different. This is just rounded like this side with the same number 7194-4, but this end is different. So the body of this is slightly different, I noticed. So I'm not sure if they did a gear change, if they did the cone clutch change, 
but make sure you get the original part number for this housing if you're ever going to replace it. I'm not sure if this is interchangeable with the old one. So if you have an old one, you might need an old part number. If you have a newer version, always buy the serial number. So I'll get this cleaned up and then we'll put the seal back and we have to press it in. All right, I've got the surface all cleaned up. That's ready to go. I've got my new seal. Housing's all cleaned out where the seal's going to go. So it, in the book, it asks to use this 885-557 tool, and it has a recess on the narrower edge. And the, it has a raised lip surface. That's what this seal fits into. So you have to kind of put the seal over it carefully, and then it will fit in there, and the actual seal fits in the groove. So this is a very specific application tool, not just going to drive the seal in. And then what it does is it also has a stop here so it will bottom out and it will put the seal at the right distance into the housing. Again, this is something to use a press for because this tool has been machined pretty much the same diameter as this. Again, this will be work with both DPH and DPS drives and that will put that seal in the, in the correct position. I'm gonna put a little gasket sealing compound on here before I put it in. I always like to try to do that. Um, just to give me the edge to keep some corrosion away from here and also hopefully keep uh, the life of the outside seal as good as the inside seal lips. So I'll press that together. All right, I got the seal pressed in, all set to go. And I'm just gonna pack the space between the seal lips again with grease as I always do. That way you get a little bit of extra protection against corrosion and seal leakage. Again, this shaft doesn't spin much, but I found a lot of times that uh, this seal for some reason does dry out, even though it's a double lip seal and it does leak, especially with earlier model engines. You've got a, an engine uh, package, it's 15, 20 years old, that seal could start to dry out and leak. So what I always recommend is every 10 years you reseal the drive. That's just uh, you know, the, the way I look at it is seals only last about 10 years, then they start to dry rot right out. So with the seal reinstalled, we're just gonna put this back together, okay? Slide that through the housing. I'm gonna make sure that the pin lines up over here, only way to put it in. And then it asks you to put a little grease on the pin and put the new pin in. So what I'm gonna do is now that I've got the pin just started all greased up, I'm gonna go ahead and start tapping that pin in further. And when I get close to the inside edge, I'm gonna put a drill bit in here. And then I'm gonna wait for that drill bit to fall in, just like that. Okay, so that drill bit's right there. So what I found with you know, experience on doing this is that mark is great, but the easy way to do it is when the pin is getting close to flush with the edge here, that's when that hole's gonna line up and that's where the actual drill bit will fall in there. And you'll see that the drill bit goes all the way down. So now I'm ready to put the new spring pin in there. I'm just gonna line that up, give it a couple taps. And then again, what I want to do is kind of drive it down till it's pretty much flush with this housing. There we go. So we take the old pin and we get an idea that, yep, that is all the way through the pin. So all set, resealed, ready to be reinstalled.